Hello YouTube. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. It's time again for another knife of the day. Today the knife of the day is my Strider SMF knife. This is the big Strider. I love these knives. I have a couple of these and then I have a couple of the SNGs and then I have a, a special Protec and Strider automatic that we'll talk about later. A lot of these knives we haven't hit yet. But this is the Strider SMF. Man, the first time I had a Strider FMF, was it this one? No, it was the other one um, that I already posted on this um, channel. Friend of mine wanted to wanted a couple of beat up knives, had some money, and also wanted to start collecting knives. Not beat up, but a hard nosed knife and asked me and I said, well, I keep hearing about Striders. So both of us bought one. And let me tell you, whew, now I have several Striders, but man, this is a, it is a user. Of course, <laughs> I'm in an urban environment. I work in an office. I don't do heavy using. I break down boxes and stuff. Truth be told, that's what most people use their knives for. But, oh, I really like these knives. When you, when you, pick up a strider you know you've picked up a well-made knife you know that it's solid it feels solid um it's 6.1 ounces okay so you know you've picked it up and it feels so nice um the jimping to me this thing fits in the hand again i lean more towards smaller knives but this is really nice I love how it fits in. Yes, it has a Ford Choil. It has two right here for the other ones, but man, it just fits so nice into your hands. I love the grip on the bottom too. You know, it's just, if you did do reverse, it just puts your thumb right there. I really like it. The other thing I like about Striders, and this is just me, um, I think how they do their branding on knives is just really nice. Look, Strider, logo, it also says down there S30V Steel. So they have the steel down there as well. Uh, just simple, kind of like Spartan, you know, just like, look, we're not messing with your blade. We're giving you the information you need. On the bottom. Spartaco does that too. But I just like the subtle just strider. You know, that's the logo. I mean the logo on the other side. So real nice knife. I also like stonewash finishes. You know, I'm a collector, so some knives I do like the shiny. Obviously, if you watch any of the videos that I've done, I really like um blinged out blades. Damascus blades, I do, depending on the knife, but man, oh man, is this a nice one or not. Again, Strider SMF, S30V steel, stonewash finish, and it's stonewash is just right for me, just enough. You know, still nice, you can still see reflections in it, just well done. Jimping, as I told you about the Ford Choil, 100% of the foil choil is off the blade. So when I say it's 3.9 inch blade, remember, we measure all the steel, right? From the handle to the tip. The edge is 3.25. Okay, three inches and a quarter, three and a quarter inches for the blade. Just thick, stark stock. S30V stock, really thick. The total size is nine inches. Now I have fat Michelin man hands, but it just, ah, oh, just fits well. Also, when I bought my first Strider again, 
you know, I was so used to Spidey holes that the hole opener really felt comfortable to me. I just really like it. Now, the handle is G10, heavy G10. That that is not just a pattern it's really carved in there deep it gives you a lot of traction and it looks good too you know it doesn't beat up your hand because it is smooth but it gives you a lot of traction it looks great the pivot is every time i pick up a strider i tell everyone about the pivot i love that simple pivot get a coin you can tighten or loosen the pivot two studs it's not um, see-through construction. It has G10, and this is with the SNGs as well. I'm not an expert on Striders. I just have several of them, and I really like them. So you have the texture G10 on the show side. It actually wraps around. I keep There's no seam. It's just they then wrap around the G10 for the backspacer, and then... As you can see, there's the titanium on the lock side. Stabilizer so you don't overextend. Frame lock with jimping. Everything about this says what I said. It's a tough knife. You know, I love my Chris Reeve knives, and they are tough. They really are. But when you pick it up, you know that it's going to do every EDC you want it to do and when you use it you know that all the accolades for a Chris Reeve knife is true when you pick this up you know you've got a knife with capital K N I F E in your hands yes it's 6.1 ounces but it doesn't feel all that big they've done a lot of good balancing I think the fact that it fits so nice in the hand uh, G10, again, even more uh, stonewash finish. The clip is not a purdy thing, but very functional, very functional. This is only a right-hand tip-up knife, okay? It's not like you're used to. I'm used to saying, hey, it's a four-way clip. It's a this-way clip. It's left and right. In this case, it's just right-hand tip-up, which for me... That hits all of my preferences. I'll tell you, uh, obviously I'm right-handed, so that matters. Um, tip up, I like it better, but tip up, tip down, it doesn't. I prefer tip up, but man, will I hustle to buy a good knife that I'm excited about if it's tip down. I've heard some people say, I just can't deal with tip down, or I just can't deal with tip up. Yeah. A great knife, I can deal with it. There you have it. The knife of the day is the Strider SMF with this Texture G10. Just a wonderful work knife, EDC knife. If you want to get some work done, you've got it. I figured I'd do an SNG so you can see the differences. And I throw in a paramilitary too, something that you're very familiar with so you can get size. This is, it fills the hand. It's a lot thicker, but so is the SNG than, of course, the paramilitary two from Spydeco. But I wanted to give you some, something to compare with. Some, okay? Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, I've actually taken the week off on vacation so for those of you who follow these day to day first, thank you. Um, if you're not, that's fine. These will be on YouTube for as long as YouTube will have me. So I know a lot of you are watching this in the future. I'm recording this in 2018. But usually I do it real early right before going to work. But the past this whole week, I've been doing them a little later because I'm sleeping in. It's vacation time. Hope all of you are doing well on the East Coast. It's hit 80 degrees. We finally have hit spring. Hope you guys are doing great. Keep, oh, don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Thumb it up. Let me know that you're out there. You guys have a perfect day. Keep those pockets full.
Goodbye.